a Spectrum post was posted by Pele Tan voicing out his opinion that 3.23 is not ready for live release. And he also listed a few things that he's experienced pertaining to unable to um, leave the pilot seats, star map issues, um, notification issues when it comes to shields uh, being hit, unable to target turrets, clouds. And he essentially um, is saying that 3.23 isn't actually ready for live due to some of these game mechanics being broken and xylo responded and actually shed some light on the intention of cig and why things are going in the direction that they are and as to why they need to get 3.23 out the door asap so xylo posted totally valid but i'd like to shed some light on our perspective we intend for 2024 to be a big year for star citizen and we're all about keeping that momentum going strong it's a tricky balance though moving forward without sacrificing quality of the experience sometimes introducing new features can introduce new problems which is why we're taking a bit more time with things like the new hangers and cargo content now aiming for 323.x this isn't about hitting the brakes though as always our teams are all hands on deck focusing on addressing issues as fast as humanly possible you might see a few bumps in the road with 3.23 but we're certainly not stopping there you should expect plenty of follow-up hot fixes and improvements as we push forward towards the big milestone ahead 4.0 and 1.0 and beyond it is important to remember that every level of star citizen serves as a testing environment while issues are often found in the earlier phases root causes and solutions are often best discovered with the wide stress test of the full live alpha resource it is vital to get alpha 3.23 to the live environment as soon as possible to discover every cause and solution we can while also ensuring we stay on track for future milestones as delaying too long can create a ripple effect the team is determined to get things into a great place and everyone's participation and reports have been tremendously helpful so it looks like cig does intend to drop starts alpha 3.23 as soon as possible i'm suspecting it's going to be this week if it's not today then maybe tomorrow and we also need to remember that each environment whether it's live ptu eptu tech preview are all testing environments and we are a part of a testing branch for cig as star citizen isn't officially a live game maybe we can start talking about the full experience when it comes to star citizen alpha 1.0 but right now we are testers for cig so we need to understand that and they won't be able to see real issues unless they get it into live servers where everybody is playing because not everybody downloads eptus or ptu environments not everybody has the space on their drives to be able to download multiples of 100 gig environment onto their pc so you need to understand that they won't be able to fully see issues or solutions unless they're in live which is what happened with 318 they weren't able to determine um the issues that they identified in 318 when it went live until when it went live um, because they finally got to see it at scale so i do anticipate we may run into some issues with 323 once it actually does go live but i'm sure cig has the staff and they have a lot of new people on board to actually help push our patches i mean look at this patch cycle for 323 we've had a new patch every single day through the month of uh i think april um literally since it released uh into eptu literally we've been seeing patches every single day so i'm confident they'll be dropping new patches uh and hot fixes after 3.23 goes live just to let y'all know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like and your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe as well i'll catch you guys on the next one